Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys on my day and this is how I started my day. I started doing a one hour full body exercise and you guys, I was so proud of myself. I actually did the entire hour. I recently discovered an amazing YouTube channel called Grow With Jo. She's so fun and energetic and I love her workouts. It's beginner friendly and what I love most about it is her dance party videos. It's so fun and upbeat. I promise you it's like you're not even working out. So I started off with a gospel dance routine. That's how I actually uh, found her channel and it's been keeping me going for such a long time. My mom and I love her videos and we work out to it all the time so i definitely highly suggest checking her videos out and yeah you will you guys will really enjoy it welcome back to my channel i know i've been missing for a long time but i am back and i just finished a one hour workout like that was insane it was so hectic but i'm so proud of myself for actually doing it especially like towards the end of the year it's summertime and yeah everybody's in party mood but i had to really just get back on exercising being healthy and all of that so yeah i did a one hour um full on workout and it was really really good and then i spent the next hour just worshiping and praying and it was even more beautiful you know just that experience in the morning waking up and getting your mind cleansed um yeah and it's so good to finally be back on my channel i know you guys are probably thinking where on earth was i for the past three months but i am back and um, I just had to restructure on what type of content I want to put out here and I feel so much more confident in knowing what I want you guys to see and um, a lot of it won't mainly be around makeup as usual um, but I know that you guys are going to enjoy the type of content that I am going to be creating and posting for you guys so please do support give this video a like give it a comment and yeah just share some love on this channel i am close to 10k oh my gosh but yeah um anyway i have a lot of weight to lose um i still have a tummy but i'm hoping that i can just like you know be healthier and that will obviously get me the results that i'm looking for and yeah um i'm gonna take you guys on the day with me i just want you guys to see how beautiful this day is how beautiful my gosh look at that guys such a stunning stunning day i left my hair curly this past weekend so when i do my hair gets this is like three day hair when it's curly so as you guys can see it doesn't stay nice and soft and springy and the problem is that yeah that's just curls and textures and all of that to revive this what i would normally do is just go back and rinse everything and then water really brings back the life let me show you guys what product i am currently using for my skin basically i've been breaking up with so much of blackheads um so i bought the neutrogena blackhead um eliminating facial scrub and this says it's clinically proven uh, to deeply purify and help eliminate um, and prevent blackheads for a refined complexion and this is for blackhead prone skin so i used it for the first um, week or so and you can really feel the difference like the first time i did use it my skin actually looked tight and it felt softer so I was really pleased with the result. So yeah, this is the product that I actually really um, recommend buying if you are blackhead prone, if you do have blackhead prone skin. So yeah, this is the area that I really break out of blackheads a lot. Never ever had this problem like so intense, but um, around my cheek area has been really bad. So yeah, let me just go ahead and do this and I will see you for breakfast. Okay 
Hey guys, so I have just made my breakfast real quickly and I have some strawberries for my snack time just after I eat my breakfast. I was watching a few um, videos on YouTube today about like what's the best type of healthy stuff that you can eat in the mornings. I know there's so many different variations of healthy breakfasts. Um, but yeah, I just needed some inspiration. So I'm having black tea with my breakfast and yeah um afterwards i need to get some things from um the mall which is like a minute walk from this place so yeah i will change up and get ready for the day just a jeans and a simple black tee and I decided to grip my hair halfway because my hair can get a bit crazy when it's curly so yeah and during the week I don't like to use too much of foundation or anything especially when I'm wearing a mask I know a lot of you girls can um, you know relate um, and my during the week um, makeup routine is super simple guys um, yeah this is the amount of products that i use um when i do have pigmentation i obviously will have to go in with um foundation like foundation is a must um but my skin is actually doing really well um i changed my diet i started drinking a lot of water and i also noticed that when my diet changed um my skin started looking better so yeah when and also another uh sorry about the noise guys Another aspect to skin and just looking beautiful and yourself is when you are happy, when you are in a good space, when your mind is clean and pure and it's just the best space ever. And that is when I'm the most glowy. I realize that that's when it shows the most. And of course, it is when I am into God and reading his word and when I'm focusing on him and of my problems, I see a whole different look so yeah um just a quick skin tip okay so the first product i'll show you guys is um okay let me just start off by saying when i do my brows um if i'm doing like a supernatural like today i'm going for that vibe especially when my skin is looking like good um i'll just use like a brow gel and this is the next control freak brow gel you can use a tinted one but I generally just I have thick eyebrows it's just that I plucked a few like years ago guys and it doesn't want to grow back so I don't know um, the girl that does my eyebrows she's one of my closest friends and she always laughs about those areas where I have those sparse sections and she's like what on earth happened there so yeah um i like a nice natural brows i think where i like it to be more fluffy is on the outer end like on this corner this is not really a makeup tutorial but i just wanted you guys to see how i get ready like i am not somebody who sits and does a full-on makeup routine during the week like that's not me like if we're going out to the mall or whatever during the week this is basically what i do like 15 minutes this is my go-to makeup look sometimes it might change like the types of look that i'm going for for the day uh like the brows i know normally i would do my brows properly but like today is not that day so i like to keep it super natural as you guys can see i just brushed it up and it'll stay in place because this product is so good um and then for eyes this is what I'm using for eyes it's just like one crayon it's like a jumbo eye pencil and it's such a beautiful if you guys can see this it's not auto focusing it's like a metallic um, purple ish maroon ish kind of shade but when you put it on your eyelid it's not so heavy which I love um, it's more natural so my mom I was teaching her the other day um, on how to do her eye makeup and stuff and I'm sure you guys would 
think that my mom would know those things by now because I mean like I'm with her all the time but I always do her makeup so the other day I was like listen I'm taking you on a full um like listen let's do it like the outer cut like the outer smoky eye the cut crease and everything so I was actually quite proud of her she loved makeup like back in the day that's how I um when I was younger I used to always go in the room and look at her makeup and I was one of those children that unfortunately I was but I was one of those children that was very like um crazy about makeup and I broke one of her I remember breaking like her powders and not because I wanted to because it was looking so exciting to like play with and stuff and then I remember one time just breaking her powder and oh my gosh she was like so annoyed with me so you guys that's how simple it is can you see the difference like all I had to do was just color this on my eyelid and then just blend the top you don't even have to blend the whole thing if you if you applied it properly so yeah this is what I like it's like a neutral color but it's like on the deeper tone and see so yeah this is also by NYX it's the jumbo eye pencil the shade is rust yeah rust 619 so that's the shade if you guys are interested and also guys let me know if you would like me to do like a full makeup tutorial I know I've been missing as I mentioned previously I wanted to add in a little bit of myself in here and I realized I'm more of myself on my joint channel with Wes and I'm more personal there whereas you get to see a lot of me and my personality and on my personal channel i always wanted to keep it professional and you know more on my art and makeup and all of those things but then i realized you guys love to watch me and my creativity and what i can offer and i get a lot of questions about you know my fashion choices and just so much and i have a lot to give it's just that i felt like my channel was just solely for makeup and that kind of stopped the whole i don't know i just felt like i needed to take a break and just figure out what i need to do and now that i understand that a lot of questions come in like how do you get this look or like how do you do your hair like this and you know how did you piece this whole entire look together like if i did it for like a bridal shoot or somebody's wedding or whatever i would get a lot of questions like that and i realized that you guys want more than makeup so that's the reason why i just like took a break and i had to analyze a lot of things um and i'm still so glad that you guys are still you know supportive of me and you'll still love my videos and still coming back next i'm going in with the my favorite um the essence eye heart Extre extreme lash mascara and during the week i don't like to put a lot of this because it's such a pain to remove guys it is so annoying i think i'm like almost done okay i think that should be good this mascara i love it so much but gosh it's a nightmare to remove guys like no joke um and then just to cover up like certain dark spots um i just have a little around my mouth and this will basically work like a um, foundation so this is the la girl pro concealer in the shade medium beige and i'm gonna take it with my finger and then just dot the areas that are a little dark keeping it super natural i'm not even gonna add like powder or anything and I do get oily in this T-zone area, but it's like super light that I'm not gonna even like really set. This I would never do if I have um if my pigmentation is super uh, dramatic and if my pigmentation is really showing a lot. I would never just do this. This it would never cover. Let's just say that. 
you can't really put that much of foundation around your mouth anyway because the mask basically takes half of it off that's the worst thing ever lip pencil i love is by smudge this is the medium brown the medium brown is like a taupe color it's like the perfect pinky taupe um it's super light and the other color is also by smudge and it's the purple brown so this is a bit deep and dark um but what i like to do if my lips are looking too like bland um i'll just like go ahead and line just the outside so it gives some shape to the lip um so i'm gonna go in with the medium brown first and then color my lip and then if i need a little bit of like line on the outsides then i'll just pull in with this super cute okay i might just use a little bit of this just to light lightly very lightly line the outsides this is it for the makeup <sighs> I am ready to go um, using my West Bay mask I just need to put my tacky on and I am ready to go so this is the final result and yeah as you guys can see the eye is pretty cute nothing too dramatic and this is my natural look for the day. Um, this is my outfit. I don't have any shoes on yet. So I'm just going to put on my tacky and I'm going to be ready to go. So I'll see you guys. guys so I am exhausted I thought I would film the entire evening for you guys but unfortunately that's not how my evening actually went um, so it is 10 past 7 I think um, yeah and I'm only sitting now like I am so exhausted I cannot even explain um, and obviously you guys can tell by the lighting that it is load shedding um, So yeah, I went to the mall I had to like sort out a lot of things um, I actually have my friend's wedding coming up next week um, So the whole point of me going to the mall was also to check for um, like a sari blouse um, because I'm wearing a sari for next week um, but obviously there's no like eastern wear um, in the mall that I'm nearby so I had to um, yeah I was also looking for like nice jewelry to like make my outfit stand out um, I'm doing a very modern type of eastern look so it's not like your typical full worked sari from head to toe 
Um, but yeah, I uh, came home and I didn't realize. So I had already planned that I have to come home by. I said I'll leave the mall at half past five because it's like literally five minutes to come to my house. So not half past five. I said I'll, I'll leave about quarter past five or so, 5.15 or so, right? So I ended up finding a store that had the most prettiest jewelry and I thought, okay, let me get my jewelry now. So, sorry guys, I know I look a bit crazy. My hair is curly and it's just up. So yeah, I lost track of time in that store and then I realized, oh my goodness. And I had like two heavy packets with me because I bought like some vegetables and things. Um, and then I was like running so fast. And I'm, I was so exhausted by the time I came to the apartment. Um, was like huffing and puffing. And uh, because I knew that it was going to be the load shedding started at 6. So by the time I came home, it was 5.45, right? And I had to make sausage chutney. So you must know from 5.45, uh, how am I going to do all of those things? Um, yeah, so in such a short like space of time. So I managed, I was laughing to myself because i felt my mind go into like my like my mom my mom is this way i felt myself go into my mom's mode where she's like all over the place at once so i just threw all my stuff on the um on the bed and i started from one side like i put two stoves on quickly so i let uh, one pan steam the sausages because like with um sausage chutney you had to leave them sausages to steam so you able to cut it to put it in the chutney so i had the other stove with like braising the actual chutney and i promise you guys i cooked up this sausage chutney in just a few minutes and guess what the stove was working so well because it was extremely hot and funny enough it was i was just like thinking about god and the whole day i was like constantly in like talking with him and just allowing him to be a part of every moment in my day and when this had happened um i just had like a few minutes to braise the uh, like the um, sausage chutney and who braises a sausage chutney in like 10 minutes like it's very difficult you can but it you need to have like the stove at a certain um like it needs to get be hot and like your sausages need to cook and things like that but i realized that even in those moments when i allowed god to be um like i i said father please let this let this be done in time so that even when the lights go off it will still be hot to cook through um, at least a few more minutes so that the sausages and the, uh, the the chutney is well cooked and even in those moments guys like he's so faithful he literally comes through for you in the simplest of ways and it's not about praying for things or praying for you know my sausage chutney to get done it's the fact that he's always there um wanting the best for you he wants to be a part of everything in your life and i think a lot of times we get confused by how we should pray when we should pray and it's not about praying also i'm not saying like it's not about praying like you must not pray you must pray i pray all the time but god wants more than just um you know just prayer and your day-to-day -day times and slots for prayer that's not what he wants entirely he wants every part of you he wants your every moment he wants your good days your bad days your every seconds he wants a relationship with you and if you really think about it i think a lot of us don't really recognize why we are here 
we are here because he wanted us to be here why why did he want us to be here he wanted us to engage with him it, we could he was god he could have just been god and just you know enjoyed being god but he wanted children and he made us and um if you think about it god is always wanting us to spend time with him and if you include him in your every moment in your every day talk to him have conversations with him just allow him to be a part of everything in your life it's the most beautiful thing and i promise you guys like small things won't even phase you because you know that you constantly in communication with him that even if like the funny thing was i laughed in the kitchen while this chutney was getting cooked and when i looked at it at the end and the lights just went off my my chutney was done like it was literally done and i had extra time because it was still hot on the stove to like cook through so like i i don't know how much more i can explain to you guys how important it is to to know and be aware that god is always with you he's in every situation and you must acknowledge that he's there and when you do that that's when he really speaks to you he speaks to you in the smallest and the funniest of ways i promise you and that's how you have that beautiful relationship with him so yeah that was my my story about today but i just had the most beautiful day with god like today was i think um the longest day i had in a while where i was just alone it was nobody else it was just me um my parents are in cape town and wes is working um after work he went to gym and after gym he went to soccer practice so yeah it's like super late and i'm still alone but i'm not entirely alone because i know that god is with me and you know it's days like this that really um make me under- like really makes me understand that <sighs> you never are alone because he's always there and when you make him priority and when you choose him in your day you will have one of the most beautiful 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 days um yeah and i don't know what else to say but i just want to encourage you guys and let you guys know that make time for him and make time for god make time for prayer um like separate time where you know you know what this is your time for prayer this is your time for interceding this is your time for um you know real um sharing your heart giving him praise giving him glory um and knowing who he is because he's not just our friend and our father and uh, he is god and yeah i i had all of that today i woke up like that I had an hour with him just bowing in his presence and you know it, it's just so overwhelming to have moments like that so I urge you that right now we're living in a time where prayer is important and um I really really hope that each and every one of you um make that time um and know that God is waiting for you to speak to him um and he's ready to lavish his goodness and his love over you um yeah and yeah that's what i have to say about that but anyway i look like a hot mess i'm so sorry guys um this is just like my rechargeable light that i have in front of me and it's super dark i have another light there on the top um and i'm just waiting for wes to get back so we can eat um hopefully the um, food is still warm um load shedding is going to be done at 8 so it was 6 to 8 today oh the misery in south africa i promise you it's so annoying but yeah i think that is it for today's video um let me know if you guys like these kind of videos where i just sit and chill and talk to you guys and yeah we can have our heart to heart let me know in the comment section what do you guys think um 
how do you guys actually spend your load shedding days uh, or like your moments because I know it can be very frustrating. Um, but a quick tip is to try and get things done in that time. Um, and also another tip is to save offline videos, like um, download videos when you are in like your Wi-Fi zone and then you can watch them. Um, yeah, while slow chitting is happening. But anyway, that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys really did like this video. If you did, like, share, comment, subscribe, and help me grow my little channel to 10K soon. And when I hit 10K, I'm going to do a cool video um, giveaway, guys. So, yeah. So that's it for today's video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.